Street. They blocked off the street. I'm back. Give y'all a report. Two, three. Three. You check the burger alarm, 7218 yeah. South uh, South Chicago. South Shore Drill Team. Oh Lord, I gotta turn around. This is gonna be hard, yeah. Yeah, they got a lot of police out here. One of, the, uh, one of the Chicago police officers got killed in the line of duty today. So let me see what they gonna make you turn around or what? They all out here. All line of duty. Up into nobody, and we'll go around and get the view. Chicago police officer got, just got killed in line of duty earlier today. He died. He got the street blocked off. So I'm going to down here and uh, get some footage. Chicago police officer died in the line of duty today. And I'm going over here to get some footage. We got a lot of news outlets out here. Um, condolences to the police officer family. You know, we really don't want to see nobody die, even on both sides, on the civilian side and the police side. So I give my condolences to the family of the officer. Oh, I hate to see somebody lose their life in any kind of way. But things happen, and that's the way things are in life. I'm gonna get out, people, get y'all some footage. Uh, I'm not gonna be out here long, but I'm gonna get you some footage. Show y'all what's going on. Park like right here. I think I can park like right here, and I can walk over. Come here. Right here, I'm walking and yeah, get some footage. Twelve. Yeah, I'm going to get some footage. And I'm going to see. Yeah, be right back, people. Hold it up under that event. Yeah, that charger. Charger. Give me a yeah. Yeah, he didn't make it. And let me go out here. Let's see, so there you got this blocked off. You know, my hand. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, you didn't make it. Got a lot of cars out here. 
Uh, also, condolences to uh, the other families that lost loved ones too as well. I think it's a total of three people uh, shot, three dead. So I don't just wanna say condolences to the police family, also to the other victims, gunshot victim family as well. And uh, it's like a sad day in Chicago. I hate to see mass shootings like this, but it happens in crime. But we are, we're in the city of Chicago. Going over here and see what's going on. camera up y'all forgive me for shaking like when I'm walking up but I'm gonna see where the media staging area is so they can uh it's a lot of blue lights out here I can hear the helicopter in the air yeah so they probably got the officer family up here I heard Ron Emanuel uh Eddie Johnson a lot of the top cops was up here a lot of political figures out here so we'll see what's going on. Go to media on that side over here. Let me get where they at. I can't see nothing. Man. Yeah. This is it, people. Crazy. Should get y'all a good view. Good view. They got streets going on down there. Horrible. my duties and I said I'm gonna come back out here back to Chicago and uh, to bring you guys a report. Oh so, yeah, so you probably got cops from every every district. Guys, you know, I really couldn't get to the store because I was out, so I'm just finding, you guys probably know more than I do, so, I mean, I heard about the cop at the hospital. I knew he was deceased probably before you guys knew. I had got that news already. So you guys got that, but uh, other information I don't have. So, you know, I don't like to lie on nobody. I want to tell the truth. That's it. This is on 57th and Cottage Grove. The hospital is on Maryland. So, uh, you got a lot of major news outlet out here, different cops out here, different uh, 
agencies did as well. We had people right over here. Get a cop killed on duty today, um, protecting uh, everyday citizens. So hey, you gotta respect that. You gotta respect that. You gotta respect that. We give condolences to all the families of the gunshot victims, the ones that deceased, and all that. Condolences to, um, to the group. Duty doing their duty. We can't do no more out of that. Can't do no more out of that. That's that's straight honor. And I don't think nobody should be laughing. This is not laughing matter. Not only the cop died, it's four, three other people died as well. So I don't think this appropriate to uh, uh, laugh about this. Not laughing matter. This cop who died in the line of duty. So this is what no. Or anything. He died in the line of duty. So we want to respect the cop. Whether you like police or not, you have to respect uh, what happened today.
too hey how y'all doing but uh, everything is still developing it's still it's still an active crime so, uh,
want to say condolence for the police officer, family only, and for all the families that have been affected by a gun violence through the death of day. Gun violence. So, just bringing y'all the news. Hey, I can't tell you how to feel, what to say, and all that, but I just, just all I'm asking if you guys can just respect the families, not just the police officer family, uh, the family, all the victims too as well. Because this is a sad day. This probably could have been woke out, talked out. You know, it's a sad day. I hate to see anybody lose their life. You know, for something that's could have really been avoided. Thank you, Luba. Love, blessing, peace to all the victims. You're right, Luba. You're right. Appreciate you for that. Appreciate you for that. Where I'm at, 57 from College Grove. I'm not going to be here long. I just stopped through. I want to bring you guys a report. What's going on? More likely, if you see the officers walking inside the police, I mean inside the uh, hospital, more likely they're probably going to shake the family hand or something like that. You know, I'm the family. I'm thinking that's what it is. Yeah, dude snapped out today. He had some anger issues or something. Yeah, I agree with you, Paulette. But all these people are dead through the gunshot victim violence. Police dying, the line of duty trying to help a sister. We can't respect that. We've got to respect that. We've got to. We've got to.
going on, man? How you feel? All right. Yeah, it's a young cop. Yeah, a rookie out, of her. A rookie out the second district? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. I heard all that. You heard all that? first came on the radio. Yeah. I didn't know that he had, like, a one of these types. What? The rifles? Dude got up on him. With the boy, the one shooter? It's just Wow. A lot of people say it was two, it was just that one guy. Just one guy. One I wonder guy. what type of weapon he had. What type of weapon was he talking One with those big banana clips. Oh, the shooter had the one. Okay. It's probably uh, AR-15, AK-47. He had one of those. Yeah. So I guess he was demented. Right. I'm trying to figure out how did he get up on the police though. Got that automatic. Yeah. You squeeze it, it's letting out 30, 40 rounds. Yeah. So uh, the police is all numbered, you know? Yeah. Because when I looked at the, uh, it was I heard uh, when I looked at one of the news places, they was like, how many officers are shot? I was like, wow. But it's a sad day because other people lost their lives too as well. And the cop, he died in line of duty trying to defend a black person. I think it was a black woman, wasn't it? I don't know, I'm not sure. I'm not for sure, but I know it was a Hispanic male. Yeah. He was 28. 28 years oh, the, the officer, he was a Hispanic. He was 28 years old. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, 28 Hispanic officer. Yeah. Wow. And actually, this is considered a, what, a mass shooting, four, four people or more. Yeah. Yeah. Man, Chicago is just off the chain. Hey, everybody. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm assuming when all the cops went in there, they probably gonna greet the family or something like that. That's what I'm assuming. Yeah, when they said cold silver yeah. in the hospital, that's why I said, oh shit, this is serious. Yeah, well, I know you know all the codes yeah. and all that. Yeah. Well, I had got a call that said that Ronnie Manuel came up there, uh, uh, Superintendent Eddie Johnson, and they seen like eight or nine cars on the expressway together. I knew it, that's a sign. Yeah, but I wasn't gonna post it on Facebook. It's yeah. real. Yeah, it's real, man, it's real. You know what I'm saying? You gotta respect this police officer because he died in the line of duty protecting people. Actually, that, he wasn't called to this. He just heard it on his radio right. and went on it. Out of here. Wow. He wasn't assigned to the case. He just heard it. He was in the area. Yeah, because they called it 10 1. Yeah, 10 1 means automatically you go there. That's yeah. a police emergency. Yeah, I heard yeah. that 10 1 came over five zones simultaneously. Wow. By one dispatcher. Wow. Yeah. I know they killed him. I know they Swat. killed him. Yeah, Swat. Swat killed him. Yeah, Swat killed him. Okay. But he was shooting out with Swat. Huh? Was he shooting out with them? I don't know if he did. The SWAT went in and they didn't take, they, they didn't waste no time. They said they wanted him. They didn't want this to be no standout situation. They right. were going in there to execute him. Wow. And it didn't take long. I don't know if the shooter was black or white. It's Glenn. All right, Glenn. He can't even see. No, nah, he's old. He, he ain't talking to the age, but I can understand. Yeah. So ambulance 41 is taking him to Harrison. Harrison. They're going to take the body back? Yeah, ambulance 41 is going to oh. take him to the morgue. Oh, okay. Yeah. So they, uh, what they're doing now, they're putting all the closures on the expressway. Okay. And they're getting all the cars ready on the west side. So when they drop them, then they're going to close off everything. So they can take shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, okay. That's so, why they haven't left here. They just uh, wait until everybody to get on post. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, you're Amalanza. OX Amalanza. Yeah, you know. I, yeah, I know what's going on. Actually, <laughs> I done ran into that guy two times that arrested me. On really? The he's here. But, he's on the He's on the emergency side. What? Yeah. What do you say? Uh -huh. All right, y'all got a hold up from calling me. Let me see if I can put that little thing on. City Wide Pole got this. City Pole Wide? Okay. Yeah, City Wide Pole gonna handle this one. Okay. Yeah, it's 
terrible dude. Yeah. So Ambulance 41 is going to take the body out. They're going to follow. They probably gonna go out this way to Cottage Grove and hit 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 55. I don't know which. Yeah, way. they're gonna. They, they're actually, going to, no, no, no. Actually, I not, was told. I'm not for, for 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 sure for sure, but I thought that they was going to take him to Lakeshore Drive and take oh, Lakeshore Drive right. down to get on the 290. But I could, you could be right. They, just the way these police cars are lined up, right, yeah, lined they up, go yeah. 57 and take well 55th. Mm -hmm. That must 55th. be some of the family, Hispanic family yeah. members. And they may take 55th to uh, the Dan Ryan and oh, take 55th okay. all the way down, but I don't know. But the way they lined up, okay. it could be 55th. No problem, Mike. Mike. No problem. I know everybody was calling. You said, "No, I got responsibilities." I, I do. Was, I, was, I, was I wish I could. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, you little kid, they ain't gonna understand that, man. You know what I'm saying? And I would have loved to have been here. But even from that point, if maybe I could never, I still was 30, 40 minutes away. So it was just like, you know, just be calm, be still, you know. But this worked out better too because I'm here, I get a chance to record this part of it. Live. Yeah, let me get my butt on out here. Oh, a police officer got killed. I think three to four people got shot. A guy came in, Mercy Hospital, shooting up people. Probably with a assault rifle. Yeah. Weapon. Glad you came out, dude. Thought you was the police for a minute. <laughs> you walked up like, I said, oh, me? yeah. <laughs> I said, oh, need the police? I didn't know. <laughs> you call my guy right here. So it's kind of quiet in this zone. Yeah. My uncle, the police officer, okay. called him. Yeah. Is he out here? Uh-uh, he ain't out here. Uh -uh. Okay. So who are all these cops out here from different districts from his, from his district, Harris? First district, fifth district, the second district, the third district. Right. Oh, somebody said it was an AR-15. Yeah. And then somebody else said it, man, mill the meter. No, he didn't have no, he didn't have no handgun. Okay. He, he didn't have no handgun. I knew SWAT was going to take him into cuff, but ain't no black man they going to take him in. They, they, they kill black men with weapons. Still landing in the hospital. Got killed in the line of duty today uh, at Mercy. Right, so this Shot and killed at Mercy Hospital. So, what they're going to do now is uh, the family is here. Uh, a lot of officers, they're going to escort the body to the morgue now. Ambulance uh, 41, they probably, these cars are lined up right here, probably all the way from 57 to 55th, or 55th to 57, right here. So, Get ready to come out now. Never ask for ready to come out. People get into their car. Get ready to come out. Condolence to the. Uh, oh, that's one of the chiefs are down 35th Street. Deputy Chief. Right there. Deputy Chief.
dude snapped out. I know they shot him up. So they probably had all them cops see the body, huh? No. They didn't see the body. That's about all the money. Huh? While well, the cops were there. They, they in the ER room. They ain't seeing the body. Like, 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 no. The only one that can see this is the family, the mayor, and the superintendent. Okay. That's it. All these officers came from there. There's too many of them. No, they ain't going to let you see that. Man. We covered up. He on death duty, he can't even walk. So I know he ain't driving no car. <laughs> Chasing nobody. Yeah, Vera, that's my partner, Vera, on live. I see my partner, Vera, I see ya. That's my partner in crime. Missing, please come home. Hey, Ducky, cut it out, man. You made your point. You made your point, bro. You made your point, brother. This same officer you talk about, he died in line of duty trying to help, help, help somebody, man. You can't give him that type of respect. Doing. I don't know what they did. They should have had expressway. I'll put it up, I think. Yeah, I was told you. It's 8.30. It's 8.39. Okay. They still don't scale. It's 8.30? Yeah, it's 8.39. Anybody lose their life, people. This is the crime chaser. What you're witnessing, this is live, uncut, unedited. Uh, Ambulance 41 is going to take the body to the west side. Harrison, right? To the moor. Uh, with the uh, escort of CPD, his fellow officers. They got to be doing something outside there with the police. Got to be doing
getting ready.
That's what it. That's what it. They're going down 55th. Yeah, going down 55th. Yeah, I just got superintendent on the back. You did? Yeah. Man, this one. Right okay, right here. Superintendent in there, yeah. Okay. Thanks, man. Okay, but I see uh, the police, they got a fire truck with blue lights lifted up. Oh, yeah? Right up on Oh, yeah? Right there, right before King Drive. Right there. Oh, man, that's the, one I, that's the footage I want. Yeah, that's the good footage, man. That's time to get us to now. Yeah, they're getting ready. They get, they get, get ready. ready. Okay. I did want this, though. Yeah. Somebody, you know, no, you can't do nothing for honor that. Know why I'm out here. Yeah. Can't do nothing for honor that. So they got here to assault weapon. Huh? Wow. How many years you was on the force? 20, 28 years, 20. six months, and 10 days. Okay. 10 days. Yeah. You 55, right? 57 now. Oh, yeah, you good then. Yeah, yeah 55. Yeah, I'm trying to 55, get that insurance. Yeah, that insurance. right. Get out before June 1st. Yeah. yeah.
the route together.
What's on there? Yeah. All right, people. That uh, concludes what you're witnessing. Uh, what you seen was um, uh, what a slain Chicago police officer, 28 years old. I was just hearing that he was on the job, uh, just passing probationary uh, period. And uh, what's up, Marcus? I see you. And uh, that's what it is. He's out. 
out here to uh, document everything with the police. It's like that. So that's where we have people right here on 57th and uh, Cottage Grove and all that. So that's where we had a sad day in Chicago, not only for the Chicago police, but for all those who lost their life in gunshot violence. Uh, this officer was protecting a citizen and he died in line of duty. So that's respect. Respect to the family, my condolences to the family, respect to this officer, because uh, he could have stood by and not do nothing. You know, so hey. This is real, people. Uh, they still got the, uh, they're carrying the body past the second district police station on 51st and Wentworth. And from there to the moor, I believe that's on Harrison. So I appreciate you guys for tuning in. And um, sad day, not just for the police officer, for all the family victims too as well. Condolences to all, go out to all the families. Peace out. What's up, Marcus? How you doing? Get off live real quick. Peace <laughs> out, everybody. Live, unedited, uncut, straight from the crime chase of death. Peace out.